اهلا اهلا كيف الحال ويلكم تو ليرن ارابيك اونلاين ويد لبنى ديمين فيرست اوف اول ليتس ميك ا ديل يو ريموف ذا وورد هارد فروم يور فوكابولاري بيفور وي ستارت ليرنينغ بيكوز ذيس ليسن از فيري ايزي سيريسلي ات ويل بي ا بيس اوف كيك سو انجوي توداي I will talk about couples in Arabic grammar. Arabic cares and respects the number two. It offers a special suffix to both genders as a special symbol. So, cheers for couples, yay! Couple means two persons or two things. We may refer to a couple in Arabic as ithnan, the number two in Arabic, one, two, واحد, ithnan, for instance. حضر المحاضرة ithnan من الطلاب. We are specifying the number two from the whole, ithnan من. So حضر to attend المحاضرة, the lecture. So two of the students, من الطلاب طالب, is the singular of this broken plural, طلاب, students. So two of the students attended the lecture. We specified the number from the whole, the whole, الطلاب. اقتصرت زيارة المحافظ على مدينتين ثنتين اقتصر to be limited to اقتصر اقتصر the governor's visit was limited to two cities مدينتين ثنتين here Ithnatayni is just emphasizing the number of the cities. Medinatayni, Ithnatayni. So this is just an extra. Just for emphasis. Food. Akaltu tufahatayni, Ithnatayni. Here also Ithnatayni is used to emphasize the number of the Apples. I ate two apples. We may also refer to a couple as Zojan. Zoj husband. Zoj. Zoja. Wife. So Zoj Zoja. Zojan. Zojan. A couple, referring to two people or two partners. زوجان. إنهما زوجان لطيفان جدا. They are a very, جدا, very nice, لطيف, nice. لطيف, لطيف, nice. <clears throat> In dual, with the N. Nice couple. إنهما زوجان لطيفان جدا. You may even say هما without إن. So that إن. We may attach the possessive pronoun to إن, but nothing would change. So هما زوجان لطيفان جدا, or إن هما زوجان لطيفان جدا. Have the same meaning. They are a very nice couple. A dual form of a noun, an adjective or a verb is called muthanna. Muthanna. So the subject pronouns are for use when talking either. To or about two people. Huma 
when you say huma, referring to the third person, dual, feminine or masculine, doesn't matter. Antuma, antuma, referring to the second person, dual, feminine and masculine. For example, antuma sadiqatani hamimatani, you are best friends, two friends, or antuma sadiqani hamimani, for masculine, sadiq, sadiqani hamimani. All right, this is referring to second person to masculine, dual masculine. Here, dual feminine, sadiqa tani, the tani here, ani, tani, ani. Or huma, huma, we may say huma, sadiqani hamimani, or أنتما صديقان حميمان. Same thing. Okay. All nouns receive a special ending if there are two of them. When there are two of a noun, the an ألف نون the ألف and نون an is added to the end. Of the noun to indicate that it is dual in the nominative. Like here, hadara. Ithnani minat tulab. Ithnani minat tulab is the subject of hadara. Al muhadara is the object. That's why it is in the nominative case with the sign of the alif instead of dama because this is a dual noun. Alright? For the accusative and genitive cases, we would have ain the ya with sukun. Ain the ya with sukun, still ya and noon. Not the in for the sound plural, like mudarris, mudarris teacher. We say for the plural we add the in, but if it was dual, we would say mudarisain, mudarisain, two teachers. For for a sound plural, mudarisain. All right. So here, madinataini thnataini is in the genitive. Hala to aljar because it's preceded by the preposition ala. Ala. That's why we have the ain, medin, tain, it natain. Here, to fahatain is in the accusative case. Hala to nasb. They have the same suffix. They share the same suffix for the, their dual form in the accusative and the genitive case. So the ending of the dual will not usually be vowelled. So it will look like the suffix ending of the sound plural. It's so tricky. But it will sound differently. The in and ain. The contest will give you a hint about the number of the noun in question. All right? So you have to look for a hint to know if it's a dual or plural. What a mystery. <laughs> oh, what a language. So, if the noun ends in a ta marbuta, the circular ta, the o ta, the ta marbuta changes to ta maftuha, the open ta. We will untie it. Open ta, ta. And then, and then the ending is added. And then you will add the alif and noon or the ya 
and noon. Tain or tan. Like here, Ithnatain is matching Medina Tain in uh, gender, number, and case. Medina Taini, Ithnatini. Zaujan, Latifan. Alright, they are matching in here. But when here the ta, we untied the ta to add the ain and also for tufaha, tufaha and with the ta marbuta, tufaha. So we untied the ta, apple, we untied the ta before attaching the suffix referring to the duo. Sadiqa tan, sadiqa. Sadiqa, a girlfriend, Sadiqa, so this ta, we untie it before the introducing the an, Hamimatan, you are best friends. Adjectives are put into the dual the very same way. So, they would match the nouns they are modifying in number equationally. 2 equals 2. So, Zawjan, Latifan. So, Latifan is matching Zawjan in number gender. Sadiqatan, Hamimatan. Medinatain, Ithnatain. Tufahatain, Ithnatain. But here, Latif and Hamim. Nice. Latif, Hamim. So both of these are matching in number and gender. Latif, Hamim. Hamima, Sadiqa Hamima, very close friend. Hamima. So you untie the ta and then you add the an. If a word, if the if a dual word is in an idafa, again idafa, the genitive construction, or has a pronoun suffix like his, hers, ours, theirs, attached to it, the noon of the dual will disappear just as it does for masculine sound plural, the one that we have learned last week. I hope that you remember. So, taliba al jamiati, talib, students, taliban, two students, taliban. And since taliba, taliban, is the first term of this idafa, the two university students, we'll drop the noon. We won't say Taliban al Jamiati. Taliba al Jamiati. Mawjudani. Mawjud means present. Mawjud. Present. So Taliba al Jamiati is the subject, موجودان في المكتبة is the predicate, موجودان is matching in number and gender. The two university students are present in the library. رأيت طالبي الجامعة في المكتبة. Here, طالبي is in the accusative case. So normally it's طالبين. And since Taliban is part of the idafa, we will drop the noon. So we would have Taliban al Jamiati. I saw the two university students in the library. Taliban al Jamiati. So there is that sukun on top of the ya. To تحدث is to to talk to or to talk with or to speak. تحدث 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 to 
it's conjugated in the past tense, first person. I I talked with Talibayhi. Here Talibain is in the um, genitive case because it's preceded by the preposition ma. There are too many prepositions. Ma with. So I talked with his two students. Talibayhi. So we drop the noon Talibain. Talibain. We drop the noon before we attach the possessive pronoun he referring to his. The he is referring to the third person singular masculine, he. And the cause of this kasra is the preceding ya. It's for matching the ya and kasra. he. Now. We come to the dual pronouns, and to ma is the second person dual personal pronoun for both masculine and feminine. The corresponding pronoun suffix is kuma, which is also used for both genders. So if I say kitab, a book, your book, second person, Dual, feminine or masculine. We would say kitabu kuma. Kitabu kuma. All right. Referring to the dual, second person, both feminine or masculine. And for their book, third person, dual, masculine or feminine, kitabu huma. Kitabu huma. And this u, it's because of the preceding dhamma. Since the, ver uh, the word stands by itself, I put it in the nominative case. So, kita bukuma, kita bukuma. Remember, when a verb comes first in a sentence and the subject follows, the verb is always singular. ذهب الطالبان إلى الجامعة. Here the subject is dual. But since the verb comes before, it will be singular. ذهب الطالبان إلى الجامعة. If we start with the dual noun, dual subject, we would have to conjugate the verb in the uh, third person. Masculine dual, huma, referring to the atalibani, the two students. The, so, dhahaba, huma, dhahaba, dhahaba is conjugated in the past tense, huma, third person, dual masculine, huma, atalibani, dhahaba ila jamiati. So, you pay attention to this. So the two students went to the university. So if the verb comes after the subject, it has to match in number and gender, of course. One more, one more thing. The demonstrative pronouns هَذَا This هَذَا Pointing to a masculine Person or object. هذه feminine, singular. They have dual forms. هذاني هذاني You have to elongate the ها like if there is an alif after. The thing that I don't understand, they write it without alif. They put just that dagger alif. The little alif indicating that there is an alif in there. But for Hatani referring to feminine dual, they write the alif. I don't know why. Actually, if you write Hadani with alif, I don't think that it would be considered as a wrong. I don't think so. So Hadani Sabahani Sariani. Sabah swimmer. Sabahani two swimmers. Sariani two fast swimmers. So these are Two fast swimmers. All right. 
And for هذه هاتاني امرأتان نشيطتان Two active women امرأة امرأة So we untied the ta before adding the alif noon and nashitatani it's modifying adjective is matching in gender number and case. So hadani hatani hada hadani hadhi hatani. I have something extra for you from me as a gift. Kila Kila means both and it has the Built-in alif referring to the duo. It comes this way. Kila. Kila at tarafaini. Taraf means side. Taraf. Kila at tarafaini. Both sides. And this is an idafa construction. That's why the second uh, noun is in the genitive case with the sign of ain. If you want to substitute this with the possessive pronoun to um, avoid repetition in a in a passage or whatever you, you would say kila huma huma referring to atarafein kilta referring to the dual feminine kilta yadain kilta yadain both hands yad hand is feminine because we have two nose is masculine because we have one whatever comes in couple is feminine like Ears, eyes, hands, legs. So kilta al yadaini, both hands. Or kilta huma. So again, cheers for couples. It's not Valentine Day, but it's dual day in Arabic word. So and um, till then. You like me, and you miss me, and you keep learning Arabic. إلى اللقاء يا أصدقائي.